All right, we should be live. Let me go ahead and see. Nothing yet. It says we should be live. Okay, awesome. We are, in fact, now live. Excellent. All right, hello, everyone. Ace here. Uh, welcome to the live stream. Today, we're going to be doing something. Uh, we're going to be doing a fairly short stream. Of course, the reason is because we're going to be doing a uh, video. We're going to be doing the community event with regards to anime because that's the theme that, if I remember correctly, was picked in the community poll. In fact, let me double check. I'm pretty sure that's what you guys wanted. Yep, 68% to 32. So, and anime, it will most certainly be. Anyways, but in the meantime, while we get ready for the li for that, uh, here is today's live stream, which is going to be... Master of the Skies Red Ace. Now, the light, the um, resolution should hopefully be decent. Let me know if it's not. Uh, we will see. And hopefully that should be good. Let me know if it's too loud. Uh, Vittorio Vaglio says, Hey, Ace, how are you? I am doing good. Okay, so it looks like... Ah, yes, it is showing in full screen. That is good news. All right, so goodies. We will do... Well, I'm going to start with actually the uh, demo level here, but I'm going to avoid the two training and I'm just going to jump into the demo level here just to show you how this game plays. But it is a classic, in my opinion, worth playing, even if it's, well, a bit more basic as far as flight games are concerned. But I am having a good day, though, for the most part. Uh tell this is in fact a flight game, although it's not really a flight simulator, it's more of a arcade combat game, but a fun one. German plane, let's go ahead and say hello, shall we? Probably not going to beat this game in the time span I'm planning on doing the stream, which is going to be about half an hour, but that's okay. Um, so we've got a, he's actually helping us destroy the factories, which is good. Dead on target, excellent. Should be a uh, German plane right over there, yes there is. He might have actually, nope, it looks like it is still alive. He is going to try bringing it down. I'm going to finish the job off, of course. We do have some AA over here, that's fine. AA deleted. But yeah, once again, let me know if this game is a little too loud on the volume side. I can, of course, use that in those case. Um, Yeah. We did take a few good hits there, but we should be all right if we can just take out this last factory. Some AA in position there, and it is giving us trouble. Mission accomplished. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's do mission number one. Um, locate and destroy Friedrich's base. You must... Yeah. Yep, so some more missions with the Airco. Is that an Italian plane? No, it's a British one. It's the Airco DH-2, if I remember correctly. DH-2 DH or DH-2. One of the two things. But it is, in fact, a British Airco. Siege is, hey, hey, hello, Siege. Uh, the four planes that I know that you can pilot in this, if I remember correctly, are going to be... This, the new port, one of the new ports, um, the SPAD 13, and the Sockwood Cat. So, two British aircraft and two French aircraft. Ow. And I got friendly fired to death there. <laughs> okay, we'll try that again, but right this time. Just to let you know that, yes, these things, bullets do, in fact, are hurt and are hazardous to your health. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Whoops. He's out of the fight, which is good news for us. I did, my joystick is starting to get a little worn, I guess. I might need to replace it at some point. Mission complete. 
Gasoline says yo yo. yo. Hello there, Gasoline. Welcome to the live stream. Bomb the key hanger buildings. Okay. We are using, like I said, an Xbox 360 controller. We have a time limit on this. We have to do this in about uh, three minutes there. So let's do two now. He is trying to get us. Yeah, we did run his ride a little bit. He's gone now, so now we can just do this guy. Boom. Now we can carry on. We have two minutes left. Still plenty of time to deal with this thing. Now this, the uh, game is not perfect uh, as far as how it runs. There is the issue where if you play a lot of missions, back to back it can cause issues so if that happens I will have to restart and that's okay because we've got the progress here at all because I beat the game already destroy the key anti-aircraft okay simple enough mission and yes you can pretty much take off and land anywhere in this game because this is a budget air combat game so why not Down. Excellent. Oh, I have rockets this time. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, rockets away. Mission complete. Victoria Vaglia says, I wrote a book about the Beretta 1918 with many unpublished details about that. That's interesting. The Beretta 1918 is not well talked about or remembered, so that is quite interesting. Um, so I'd actually be curious about what kind of details, if you don't mind me asking. Um, so we have to destroy the fighters here. Okay, simply enough sounding, so let's get into that. Well, this is a fairly simple game, but a fairly fun one. So. And yes, we can use the rockets to try shooting down the planes, although it is a skill worth mastering uh, and does take some time to do so, anyways. He's down. I hit him with the rocket there, so that's one more down there, so that's good. To be fair, the the Prayer rockets that we're using were actually designed to take down airships, but hey, airship is an aircraft, I guess, so. Urus Ossium says, old games go burr, also high people. Hello, Urus. So let's see, where were we? Ah, oh, yeah, so we have to destroy this bridge over to the east, okay. And this, I think, is where we get... I guess this is supposed to be a new port. Um, although... We have less than a minute to actually finish this mission. So we have to... And our AA all over the place. Although it's nothing compared to where it gets later on in this game. I can assure you of that. Mission complete. Vittorio says it was used for 10 years by the Italian troop, by the Italian army, given to Ascari troops and sold to other nations. Also, the semi auto weapon. Now, that is really interesting. That is really interesting. Because, uh, mate, do you mean it has select fire capability, or are you saying it's semi auto only? Because. 
typically, I, I was under the impression that the uh, Beretta 1918 was partly at least a result of the Villa Perosa. The Villa Perosa was full auto. Now, I know um, the gun that was basically a Villa Perosa soft half was essentially with the OVP 1918, so maybe there's some confusion there, but I was under the impression that the Beretta 1918 was also a fully automatic capable weapon. So that is really interesting. Actually, let me double check and see what aircraft we were using, just to clarify that I think. Okay, so it's the Bristol Scout, my mistake. Okay, so not a Newport, it's the Bristol Scout. So it's three British aircraft and one French aircraft. Fair enough. Vittorio says semi-automatic only. Okay. We have to protect this dude. This is an escort mission of sorts. We have to shoot down these guys. Whoops. So I must be thinking of the OVP that was known for being the uh, gun that was basically. So it must have only been the OVP 18 that was uh, basically a Villa Prose assault in half. Okay. Alright, now we have to destroy all the AA guns. Yay! We have four minutes to do it. It's one down. Now, of course, with this being an indie game, there is always the occasional potential for a bug here and there, like certain things not being marked as objectives, and you have to wonder if they are or not. Something worth considering as a potential issue that this game does have, because, again, it's a budget game from the 2000s. In case we missed. Yes. We've got two planes trying to shoot me down, that's okay. Just a little bit here. Another one bites the dust. That one might actually be shooting rockets at me. If he is, then that could be a problem. Okay. Uh, Vittorio says, I also talked about the OVP. Okay. Now that's interesting. Now that one uh, would also be interesting as well, not to mention. I know that very, very few of the Villa Perosas uh, survived the war intact because most of them were converted into OVPs, if I remember correctly. But it is interesting that, uh, that if the Brenna 1918 was a semi auto, that is really interesting. For one thing, it would mean that it wasn't actually an SMG. I mean, technically, the Villa Perosa still takes the crown for that on the most technical. But still. Okay, so we got him. I think we've got maybe two or three of these left, so fair enough. that one so that means we are moving on to level eight rid the region of all enemy threats now we get tanks a7b's but extremely cursed a7b's that are also aa vehicles as well because reasons i mean the fact they put a turret on an a7b is already incredibly cursed to be fair though it's kind of far for the course from this year of gaming because i recall that they uh, used to do 
I remember correctly, is wealth, uh, not just gaming, but for example, micro machines, when they had the World War One era tanks, they had the Mark IV with a turret on top as well. Mom, can we have. Or no, let me try this again. Let me look the proper name. Psychiatrist. AA7B is not real. AA7B cannot hurt you. AA7B. Yes, an AA7B. Not an A7B, an AA7B. There we go. Bro says, Curse tanks are still capable of killing you, though, if you're bad at game. Yeah. Oh, we got even more planes spawning in. Hooray! At least we don't have a timer for this, so I can just take my time. He's down. Let's go ahead and delete this little thing here. Since he is trying to get the mommy. Actually. Since this guy is actually posing a threat to our buddy, let's help him. Now, we broke away and he didn't really do much about it. We can punish him for his hand. There we go. Vittorio says, the A7V do have a turret. It is just fixed. Well, at that point, wouldn't it just be a case fix? Or a sponson. Well, I guess technically it would be a casemate more than a sponson because typically sponson would. It would be a casemate. It wouldn't be a full on turret, I don't think. Okay, so we've deleted all the tanks over here. Now we can just move in and finish off what's left over there and we'll just move it here. I think we do have to shoot down all these planes, so there's only two left, so that shouldn't be too much of a difficulty. And they're even rushing over to me. Ow. Alright, one more down, and now I can focus on this guy wherever he is and just... He might even crash to the ground if I'm lucky. That does happen every now and then. There he goes. Another successful mission. Alright. Destroy the factory to the south. I'm pretty sure this is the right mission here, so... We get a new plane to play with. Now this, I believe, is supposed to be in this battle, although it doesn't look like one much to me. Plus, also, this is a... Uh, these are British... Well, technically, I think the British did use some spads as well. Well, mainly it's known for being a French design. Though, the Americans also made good use of it as well during the later stages of the war. Of course, this could be a spad 7 or, or a spad 13. I think it's supposed to be a spad 13. Oh god! And I missed with one of them too, that's a problem. Mission complete, there we go. Alright, mission number 10, away we go. 
All right, so we need to destroy as many fighters as we can on the ground. No. And we bombed that plane there. So now that he's out of the picture, we can move forward to this new plane. Oh god, they got me. <laughs> to be fair, that was a lot of AA. Some of these missions are stupidly fast, though. Yes, yes, they are. It is a small little indie game from the early 2000s, like, this game came out- Oh god, he hit me with a rocket, or someone did. Oh dear. Oh, I got one of them already. The other one's pretty badly damaged, but- Okay. Yep, that went about as well as one might expect. Well, let's, let's try that again. I think this time I'll actually go from a different angle. Um, individual with a name I can't really pronounce and with and speaking in acrylic, which I can't really read, uh, but uh, welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good day. Apparently, one of the planes just didn't spawn as well, so less work for us, I guess. Alright, now that we've went around and avoided the A that way, we can simply move in here. Because the A is situational and it's effective as we should say. Though they are putting up a lot of anti air right now. And here comes a plane trying to make friends with me, of course. Right, we got him down. I can get this guy to crash or something. Not quite. And that's another plane out of action. Let's deal with this guy here real quick. Another plane here to deal with. And that's that mission. Hooray! Mission 11. Now we are in Africa, and we have to shoot down all the enemy fighters. Good to know. And there's a few right there! <laughs> Alright! Guys down, excellent. So once we remove what's left of these planes, uh, we should be in a good spot. Like this way. Siege says, sorry if I seem quiet and getting dinner ready for a sick friend who's arriving at my place tonight. I'm listening to ah, okay. Well, that's okay, no worries. I hope your friend gets to feel a better soon. Rose says, at least you aren't dying from laughter today. Please tell me they're not going to start making swole planes games now. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what's in here. So we got a German chasing this British guy here. Um, if I can get, if I can chase up to catch up to him, I should be able to help him out. Oh, there we go. For such a simple game, he almost crashed too. But for such a simple game, it is interesting uh, just how well they have made it, even though it is pretty 
have bu much of budget games in the era. But the sequel is what most people remember because the sequel was the full package. Uh, two campaigns plus... Uh, two campaigns plus multiplayer is what it was known for. Bro says, it is not the biplane, it is the beef plane. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, destroy both guarded enemy oil wells. Sounds simple enough. Seed says, I hope so too. She's heading into the hospital. She'll be at the week. Uh, the real work starts happening. Sounds like it is pretty serious, but yeah. Like I said, again, hopefully she gets to feel better. And uh, also, by the way, you're welcome. Sorry about that. Anyways, so... Friendly plane down there. He's got the off with Camel. Apparently, yeah, it looks like a bridge might not have spawned in on this particular map. Either that, or it's just supposed to be like, I don't know. Anyways, let's carry on. I'm gonna be, uh, as soon as I'm done, I think, with either this mission or the next, or two, I'll be moving on. I'll probably finish, you know what, I'm finishing 15 or so. And the plan is, once I'm done with that, we can start the, uh, um, community event proper. There's one of two different anime I've got picked up. Um, depends on if I can get the uh, Blu-ray player to work with this one, really. I think I should, but just in case I do have a backup show in mind. Both of them are, of course, pretty well-known and popular, so we can see how this goes. Mission complete. Alright, so that was mission 12, so this is mission... Yep, okay, so this is properly... Okay, this is where we should be, mission 13. Turtler says, Good luck, Siege. Best wishes, your friend. Also, the classic, Dear God, I wish I knew how to get... Well, actually, I did a little guide uh, that shows exactly how to get this game running on modern hardware. Um, I can see about providing a link to how to do that as soon as I get done with this mission. How's that sound? But yeah, uh, I figured it out and have the guide already up. In fact, it's not that long ago that it was up. Uh, should still be the latest Retro Game Repairman video, basically. There we go. teammates are doing a lot of damage on this. Curler says, yeah, duty comes first. Ow. making a good mess of these in the plane. And yeah, by the way, they will start spamming us a lot with a lot more aircraft in the later on missions. So that is good to know. Alright, now that we're done with that, I will show you quickly how to get... Uh, I will provide a link on how to get this video or this game to run on hardware because I did do a video showing that. Um, yeah. So it should be the latest uh, message I sent, and uh, that should be the link to how to get this game to run on modern hardware. Uh, Siege says, Turtler, thanks. Alright, so now we've done mission 13, this is going to be mission 14. Okay, so this is a SPAD 14. Uh, Siege says, game looks fun. It is most certainly fun.
But yeah, the big trick is to limit the amount of RAM that your game has access to because it just hates having too much RAM. And I think the amount that is considered too much technically is 1,024 megabytes or one gigabyte. But uh, basically, so long as you keep it under that, you should be good. Problem is, we're dealing with on Windows 10, which I'm pretty sure one gigabyte is below the minimum specs for Windows 10. So, yeah. You have to, but yeah, once you get that uh, taken care of, though, um, and I use my, personally, I use, just use DG Movie 2 to get that fixed, but once you do get it fixed, that problem will be. more enemy plane. Nope, there's at least two to three more on the radar, from what I can tell. Definitely three more. Might actually... Nope, de nope. Uh, looks like there's going to be four different planes left. Ow! Oh, another wave already spawned in. Hooray! That's okay. Um... So this guy probably has a rocket, and she doesn't probably do. Ow! They are trying. I can't believe I missed them, but we will finish them off there. And my buddy there took out that plane. The teammate here has been an absolute lifesaver, I think. Uh, okay, that's just smoke. That, however, is in fact an enemy plane. We'll see how this goes. It also seems to be flying upside down. And the game... Ooh, okay. And now we have to destroy enemy ship... Squirt the out. Okay, so this is another escort mission, but we get to shoot down the enemy ships that are on the coast there. And the music bugged out. This is what will happen every now and then. So we just destroy the enemy planes and ships, uh, and then we should be good to go. Now, normally I would restart, but we are. Uh, but I'm thinking of calling it as soon as this mission is done because, granted, we've only been at it for half an hour, but I'm planning on doing the uh, community event immediately after that. So we're going to be going. I expect we should be going about two hours at, from that point, so that is all well and good. We do have some friendlies on route. Now, ooh, enemy plane. Enemy turrets. Okay, so those turrets are down. That's the good news. The bad news, we still have to deal with these guys. Okay, enemy turrets down. We can now, if the ship's dealt with, we can now uh, escort these planes here and protect them from enemy fighters. Rose says we need to make a team and play Mech Warrior with Urban Mechs. A good idea, actually. Okay, mission accomplished, apparently. Good to know. Okay, so yeah, we've played through the first 15 missions so we only have 10 missions left but i think we'll go ahead and call it and get started with the community event i'm going to go ahead and get the blu-ray player hooked up and we will see if i can get it working if not then i do have like i said have a backup but uh yeah i think now's a good time to call it so yeah this has been ace hope